Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And in this video, we're going to be continuing where we left off, where I'm going to be showing you how to use Metasploit to run an exploit on a service. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using Metasploitable and we're going to be exploiting the FTP port uh, so that we can uh, upload and download files to and from the web server. So let's get started. So in the previous video, I actually I showed you guys how to set up uh, or how to use Metasploitable uh, to basically exercise or test your skills in exploiting. So essentially what we did is we scanned the IP address, uh, the local IP address for Metasploitable and we uh, essentially gave it an Nmap scan to find out what services were running and the ports that we found that were open were obviously going to be all the ports and that's because Metasploitable is configured to be that way. Uh, so the main thing that we're going to be doing now is I'm going to show you how to run an exploit on one of these services, more specifically the FTP service, because a lot of you guys thought that I didn't know how to use Metasploit. Uh, I just breezed over it because I wanted to do that in this video. So we're actually going to be using Metasploit in this video and I'll show you how to use it. So uh, let's get started. So we know that the port that we're targeting is the uh, FTP port, which is port 21. So we know that it's configured correctly. Now the service that it's running or the service version that it's running is VSF TPD uh, 2.3.4. So what we did is we Googled this service uh, uh, to find exploits for it. Uh, again, you can use any other website to search for exploits, any search engine. Uh, many people like to search on exploit DB or exploit database because that's where you'd find most of the exploits. Um, so uh, I found the uh, exploit on rapid7.com. Now rapid7 is the company that uh, develops Metasploit and they essentially have an exploit for this service, which is VSFTBD, uh, which is the FTP service. Uh, for the specific version 2.3.4, which the exploit is a backdoor command execution, which allows, uh, ex um, you, you know, commands to be executed a bit like what you would have in a reverse shell. So what we're going to do is we already have the exploit here, the module here. So uh, when talking about Metasploit, which is what we're going to be using, um, not Metasploitable now, uh, we let let us just start it up. So to start up Metasploit, uh, you just open up your terminal. Again, I'm running Parrot OS. It really doesn't matter what pen testing uh, OS you're using. So msf console, all right, msf console, and just give it a few seconds to start up. Uh, it shouldn't take too much time, and uh, we should be good to go. So while that's starting up. Uh, let me explain what Metasploit is. All right, Metasploit is a large database of exploits. All right, and it uh, essentially allows you to use these exploits to your advantage and to exploit systems. Now, whatever you systems you try and exploit, that's up to you. But the cool thing about Metasploit is it allows you to create your own met, uh, your own exploits, which is awesome. So if you're an advanced user and you actually uh, you are working with websites or services most of the time and you find vulnerabilities, you can create an exploit. Uh, for the purpose of security and uh, patching. So that's up to you. So uh, as you can see here, it's going to take a while. It's going to start the Metasploit uh, framework co console and uh, we should begin. There we are. So as you can see, Metasploit is uh, pretty, pretty uh, simple uh, to navigate. You have your information. Um, so it's it's telling you to check out Metasploit Pro, which is a very good option if you're going to use this tool a lot. Uh, in terms of the other information, we have uh, 1,662 exploits, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, uh, uh, pretty much there are a bunch of commands that you have to be familiar with with Metasploit. And uh, one of them is obviously the help command. So if we type in help, it's going to give us information or help, really. So th this is essentially the user's manual. Now, I'm just going to tell you the most important commands that will really, really help you right now. So the most important commands right now are the uh, obviously the msf console command, which will start uh, Metasploit for you. You then have the use command. All right. So that's as simple as that, which allows you to use uh, an exploit. All right. You then have the show command. The show command uh, allows you to show the exploits or the options available for the exploit. All right. You then have your set command. Um, your set command allows you to configure an, an exploit or an option. And you have finally your exploit 
option which essentially makes you run the exploit that you currently that you currently want to run so it's really very simple now uh, what we need to do is we need the uh, we need the name of the of the exploit in this case the module name is uh, right here and it'll just give it to you in the form that you need it so just copy this because this is the name of the module or the exploit for this matter and in metasploit uh, what you want to do is just type in use because that's the exploit that we want to use and just paste in the name all right now uh, let me just minimize this that could be a distraction all right so once you have hit that uh, one, just hit enter and as you can see it's going to automatically detect that uh, you, you know that this exploit is correct and it is a valid exploit uh, now uh, what you can do is you can show the options all right so show options and essentially this will show you the options that you can change and configure according to what uh, or how you want the exploit to run now in the previous video i touched upon this very lightly and you guys thought that i changed uh, the, the things incorrectly and the reason being is i did it really really quickly and my job was not to sh actually show you the exploit uh, but let's do it correctly now now, uh, what we need to do is we need to understand a few things first. The R host is your is the target address, all right? And the R port, uh, which is already configured to 21, uh, is correct because we know the port is configured correctly. If it was configured to something like port 22 by mistake, uh, that could also be uh, something that you need to change. Now, to change the R host to what we want, which is the IP of the Metasploitable machine, uh, the machine that we want to exploit in this case, we need to uh, essentially say set our host all right so set our host and we uh, use the ip so 192.168.2.129 all right and uh, if we set that it's going to say our host uh, is equal to and now we can essentially just check we can say show options to make sure that everything is configured correctly before we run our exploit and as you can see the our host is set to the ip address and our port is configured correctly because as i said uh, the port that we're trying to target here is is going to be port 21 and the ip address is right there 192.168.2.129 and again you can ping yours to test it if it's still running and uh, yeah now uh, what we can do now is all we have to do is say exploit right as simple as that and we hit enter and let's see what we get all right and there we are so it's uh, going to start the banner capture and it's going to say command shell session one open so it's opened a, a shell session which means uh, this system is linux obviously and uh, we can run our linux commands so pretty pretty awesome and as you can see we can send commands back and forth so let's try a few commands uh, let's see if we can run a, a task manager uh, whoops we uh, did not, I don't think that's installed on the uh, Metasploitable machine. Um, let's see if we can run the clear command. There we are, awesome. So now we have a clear uh, bash uh, or shell, sorry about that. And uh, we can try something like uname r, uh, whoops, uname r. And uh, there it's gonna tell us the server version. You have your uname a, and uh, there we are, Linux Metasploitable, blah, blah, blah. We then we can also list out the files available and uh, whoa there's a lot of files in there and i guess you guys can see the power of this if you have a server that has this vulnerability depending on the service that it's running you get uh, the idea it's very very powerful and you can run a plethora of commands you know so it's it's pretty pretty awesome uh, that's going to be it for this video guys a little bit of a short video but this is a very uh, important introduction to metasploit it's uh, what's not important is the fact that we're using a simple exploit it's very important that i'm showing you guys how to use it and how to get comfortable with it so i hope you guys found value in that video if you did please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions uh, let me know in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on my social networks um, the links will also be in the description if you have any personal questions uh, you know hit me up on kick uh, for the latest hacking news and resources check out my website link will be in the description and have a fantastic day peace